I'm going to make some chocolate chip cookie cups. Tomorrow I'm going to fill them with uh, cheesecake filling. But today, we're just going to make the cups. So I started with two sticks of butter in my mixer. I have three quarters of a cup of brown sugar and three quarters of a cup of white sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're going to cream this on high for about five minutes just to let the butter and the sugars get light and fluffy. all the different components to now it's all light and fluffy and it's got that nice texture to it. Now is the time to add our eggs. So I have two eggs at room temperature. Slide those right in. Mix it on high. Now that the eggs are thoroughly combined, it only takes a minute or two, I'm going to add the flour mixture. Once again, I took two and a quarter cups of flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a teaspoon of salt. Mix it together. We're going to start slow. If you start real high when you add the flour, flour goes everywhere. is fully incorporated. You can see. Now it's time to add our chocolate chips. So I'm going to scrape just to get the last of the batter off. Never want to lose cookie dough batter. So now I have two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips, my regular, normal, and we're going to add those in by hand. If you use your mixer for this part, you'll have tiny pieces of chocolate chip, and that's not really what you want. So you want to make sure that you thoroughly mix in those chocolate chips. Everybody wants chocolate chips in their chocolate chip cookie cup. And that's our oven. Our oven is preheated to 375 degrees. So we're going to take my cookie scoop. And I'm just going to drop in to each little muffin tin. Alright, we have more left, so we'll do another pan. But for now, I want to show you how we do this part. So I take, this is a, it makes indentions in the middle. It's a tool I got from Pampered Chef. You can also use the end of a wooden spoon, the handle of a wooden spoon. So, I'm going to spray it like this so that it doesn't get stuck. And then I'm just going to mash a little bit of the cookie in so that it makes the right shape and doesn't come out. 
And if it starts to stick like it is now, just spray it again. And when these are hot, we'll do this again, probably with the end of the wooden spoon to get, a, or a dowel. So I think I have one. Got to look while they're cooking. Just to make sure we get enough of an indention that we can add our cheesecake filling to it, because if we can't, then this is not a good experiment. We're going to pop these in the oven at 375 degrees for about 10 minutes. So our cookie cups are out of the oven. They took about nine and a half minutes. Um, and they look like muffins and not like cups. So I'm going to take my, this is the mini rolling pin, but it's got a nice um, fat end on the end of it. And I'm just going to stick it in the middle of each little cup to create an indention where I can add my cheesecake tomorrow. And then we're going to let these cool overnight. So last night we made these chocolate chip cookie cups. And this is, I'm going to show you how I get them out of the pan because it's really easy. See how easy they come out? Now, now I'm going to make the filling, which today is going to be a cheesecake filling. Though I've got some ideas on what I want to do next time I make these. So in my mixer I have 8 ounces of cream cheese that has been softened. And I'm going to add 4 tablespoons of butter, unsalted, also softened. Softened? Softened? Softened. Now we're going to cream these two together. like you can't tell whether it's butter or cream cheese anymore. They're both mixed so well together. So now we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla and two and a half cups of powdered sugar. into the cookie cups, but I like to be fancy. So I have my icing bag fitted with my 1M tip, that's the star, the big star, and I'm going to put my icing in my bag. going to pipe into the middle of our little cookie cups. I 
And there we have it, a beautiful dessert of chocolate chip cups, chocolate chip cookie cups filled with a cheesecake filling. We're going to refrigerate these overnight and we'll be ready to eat them tomorrow.